Hello friends, so this is the seventh question that will discuss about uh, determination of the output of a logic circuit. So here we have is this logic circuit. We have to determine the final Boolean output. So again the approach will stay the same. We will divide this circuit into layers, solve each layer and gradually move on to the final layer. So, if we want to divide this circuit, first we will divide it into this layer, we will segment it here. We have three NOT gates or inverters in the first layer, okay, three NOT gates or inverters. The first NOT gate and inverter, the input is A, so it will be A complement. This NOT gate here, the output is C complement. The input is C or the output is C complement. And this NOT gate and inverter here, the input is D, the output is D complement. Then is the second layer, the second level which consists of this AND gate, OR gate and again AND gate. So first, this AND gate, one of the inputs is A complement, the output of this NOT gate. The second input is D. If you notice it here, D, it is the second input. The second input is D. So the output of this AND gate is A complement and D. This OR gate here, the two inputs are first B and the second input is C complement here, okay, C complement, C complement here, the second input. So the output will be B or C complement, okay. The second AND, uh, and gate, one of the inputs is D complement, it is visible. The other input is, if we trace it, it is A, it is A here, yeah, A, A and D complement. So the output will be A, D complement. Now the third level is this, only this AND gate. The two inputs are B or C complement and A, D complement. So the output will be a D complement B or C complement. Next, the final level is this OR gate. Okay, one of the inputs is A complement and D. The second input is A, D and D complement and B or C complement. So the final value will be simply the sum of these two. It will be A complement and D or A and D complement and B or C complement. Okay, so this is the final output. So this logic circuit when you look at it at first, it can be a little bit confusing, a little bit complex because there is a lot of cross connection, A is given to this level then D is going to here, so it, so you have to look very closely, okay, don't panic, divide it into layers, solve each layer, go on to the next layer, then doing like that repeatedly, you go to the final layer. And then at the final stage, the final level, you determine the output expression. Always when you segment the logic circuit into layers, into levels, it will be easier for you to uh, to solve the circuit and to determine the boolean output okay so this is the seventh question so this is the eighth question uh, we'll discuss so here we have uh, a logic circuit which consists of a NOT gate or inverter then we have three AND gates and then at last we have the OR gate three input OR gate so we can easily segment it 
first layer did not get an inverter consisting of one gate only the second layer the second level three AND gates and then the final we have a three input OR gate so this P is given to the NOT gate or inverter so the output will be B complement now the first AND gate the second layer second level the inputs are A and B complement so the output will be A and B complement to the second AND gate the inputs are first is A and then we have C C A and C the output would be simply AC to the third and gate the inputs are B and D ok B and D so the output would be BD now the final layer or the final level which consists of a 3 input OR gate the output will simply be the sum of these 3 inputs which would be A and B complement or A and C or B and D so this is the final output so it was a pretty much simple and straightforward question but uh, I wanted you to acquaint with different styles different logic circuit construction different uh, layers and levels of handling how to handle these logic circuits so it was a pretty much simple and straightforward question and we got the final output so this is question number 9 uh, of uh, the logic circuit uh, output from which we have to determine the boolean output from this logic circuit so this uh, question is very good because we have all types of gates here from basic logic gates universal logic gates everything see here we have an AND gate a NOR gate a NOT gate an inverter AND gate two AND gates then two OR gates and finally AND gate at last so here again the same approach we will use we will divide it we will segment it into layers we will solve one layer go on to the next layer so in the first layer we can divide it the first layer consisting of this NAND gate NOR gate and NOT gate then in the second layer we have this two AND gates and OR gate third layer we have only this OR gate and in the fourth layer the final layer is the AND gate so the first layer this NAND gate the input is B both the inputs are B so it will be B complement it will behave as a NOT gate or inverter then here this NOR gate the input is A both the inputs are A so it will behave as a NOT gate or inverter become A complement here it is a NOT gate input is D so output would be D complement first layer is done then the second layer this AND gate here the inputs are A and B complement the output would be A and B complement the second AND gate the inputs are A complement and B the output would be A complement and B here this OR gate the inputs are C and D complement B C or D complement now this the third layer consists of only this OR gate the two inputs are A and B complement and A complement and B so the output would be B complement or A complement and B ok this and here the input is C or D complement so the final output would simply be the multiplication the product would be A B complement 
complement P C or D complement. So this is the final output of this logic circuit. Okay, so always segment it into layers and then solve one layer, go to the next layer, solve that, go to the next layer and then finally arrive at the output, the final stage. So this is the output, Boolean output.